Here's an overview and demonstration of a compound light microscope. The models used in our labs are typical of what's found in many research, industrial, and teaching labs. The base of the instrument has an illuminator, or a lamp, as a light source. The illuminator has a simple switch on the right-hand side and a dimmer control on the left-hand side. The light is then directed through a lens in the condenser, and the amount and quality of the light can be further controlled by gently sliding the iris diaphragm. This works just like the iris of your eye, opening or closing to fine-tune how much light will pass through your specimen. Next we have the stage. The stage is where our glass or plastic slides go. The stage moves up or down to change the plane of focus and back and forth to center the slide under the objective lens. Up and down movements are controlled with the coarse and fine focus knobs. Back and forth movements are controlled by the stage controller knob just below and to the right. This stage controller knob also has a slide frame adjuster for left and right movements of the aluminum slide frame and the spring clip that secures the slide. When a slide is placed into this frame, the spring clip simply needs to press the slide into the corner of the frame. The clip does not move up and down, only back and forth with gentle pressure. Never force any part of the microscope to move. Light microscopes come with a selection of objective lenses that screw into a rotating nose piece so that it's easy to select between different levels of magnification. When mounting a slide, always start with the shortest, lowest power lens. This lens is known as the scanning lens and is usually four times or 4x magnification. The power of the lens is stamped on the outside of each lens. Other lens options after the scanning lens are 10x, 40x, and 100x. Unless you are viewing bacteria or very small structures in a cell, you are unlikely to need the highest power 100x lens. With this lens, you would need it to use a drop of oil to remove any airspace between the cover slip and the lens. Most light microscopes are designed so that once a specimen is focused at a lower magnification, starting with the 4x scanning lens, moving to progressively higher magnifications should maintain the focus and the viewing location of the specimen. Devices will vary on how well calibrated they are to maintain a fixed focus and location, and some small adjustments might be needed using only the fine focus knob or slight movements of the stage controller knob. The only time to use the coarse focus knob is with the lowest power scanning lens. With the other lenses, they can easily be damaged by moving the stage too high. Use only the fine focus knob at any magnification greater than 4x. The specimen is viewed through the oculars. These have adjustable eyepieces that work in the same way as using a set of binoculars. Simply match the eyepieces to the width of your own eyes. You should adjust them so that you only see a single circle of light. If you see two circles of light, move the eyepieces closer until the circles converge into one. You should also adjust the dimmer to make sure the amount of light coming through is sufficient and be careful that the light isn't too bright. The oculars also magnify the image an additional 10 times. So your total magnification will always be the objective lens times the ocular lens. Thus, with a 4x scanning lens, the total magnification is 4 times 10, which equals 40. If you wear eyeglasses, it's generally best to use the microscope with your glasses removed because the focus 
can be easily customized to your particular needs. If your prescription differs strongly between your left and right eye, you can adjust for this using the diopter on the left eyepiece. Once you have a specimen focused, you could make small corrections in the diopter, the fine focus, and using the iris diaphragm in the condenser to resolve the best possible image of your specimen. Once you have the device fine-tuned to your needs, Examining other slides is simply a matter of returning the nose piece back to the scanning objective lens, releasing the spring-loaded slide clip, and placing a new specimen onto the stage. You may need to recenter the specimen using the stage controller knobs, but everything else about making your observation should be very quick at this point. Start with the scanning lens to locate your new specimen, and then advance to the next highest power lens to resolve as much detail as you need.